Pokemon's got a lot of bizarre and obscure mechanics in it. Like a lot of people know in early games that the HM Cut can work on tall grass, but did you know that if a Pokemon with the ability Hyper Cutter uses it, it increases its range? Which is interesting for multiple reasons, primarily because it's dumb, like just use a Repel, you don't gotta treat your Gligar like a lawnmower. But also, I believe this is the first time an ability affected the way an HM worked in the overworld. Which honestly, it would have been cool to see more of. Maybe surfing on a Swift Swim Mom makes it go faster? I don't know. HMs are dead anyway, so who freaking cares? Another weird mechanic I discovered recently was an X and Y. In certain routes, little fully like rocks and trees can randomly appear in the battle backgrounds and they can actually give you items, but only if you use a specific attack for each specific background object during the battle. So in Route 8, if there's a sand pile in the background, you get a free heat rock if you use Heat Wave. Which, you know, logically that does make sense, but how is anyone ever going to figure that out? My guess as to why this is implemented to the game is because it's the first mainline 3D Pokemon game with dynamic backgrounds. So they wanted to take advantage of that aspect. But this is just funny to me because it's like they put this into the game, but like AZ's Floet's just stuck in limbo. 